Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly forecast. This is your reading for the week ahead. Uh, let me just, just check the dates here. May 2nd through May 8th, 2022. For all Scorpios that may be watching, Scorpio suns, moons, rising, Scorpios on the house cusp, those with their sun in the um, eighth house or Venus and Scorpio, you can watch this reading. Please do keep in mind these are general forecasts, so they may not resonate with you specifically. And as I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please do come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. For your reading today, uh, Scorpio, we are using the Anna Kay Tarot deck here by Anna Kay. I do not know anything about the publisher since I don't have a box with me, but if you just um, look up the Anna Kay Tarot deck or Google... Um, Google Anna Kay, you might be able to find more information. I know this deck is probably available on Amazon. I think also possibly at your local bookstore or a cold bookstore, uh, possibly Barnes and Nobles. I don't know. You'd have to check. Um, it's an older deck though. Uh, for your Oracle message today, we are using the My Daily Affirmation Cards deck <clears throat> by Cheryl Richardson. And I believe this is a um, Hay House Life product so you might be able to find it on the Hay House website. That's all I know about this one. Um, cover design by Jenny Richards, photography by Melissa Olson. You might be able to find more information if you visit Melissa's website here. Uh, www.melissa-olson.com All right Scorpio so let's see what's going on for you over the next week. May 2nd through May 8th, 2022, Spirit. Oh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is below in the description box below this video, including my website and scheduling page. There is also a link up in the right-hand corner. If you click the eye in the sky, that will also take you to my scheduling page where you can book a reading at your convenience. So, uh, Spirit, uh, what do you want to tell Scorpio about their week ahead, May 2nd through May 8th? What do you want to tell Scorpio? All Scorpios that may be watching, give me six cards for their week ahead, please. Cut the deck. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Rods, Aries. So the underlying theme or challenge of your weekly forecast has to do with possibly a homecoming. This could be a celebration around the home or family. It could be involving your home or family or some sort of feeling gratitude and joy around your home or family. What's underneath that? Seven of Cups. Um, I'm getting all that glitters is not gold, but also you could be um, imagining the possibilities of with regards to something uh, involving your home or family. These guys, these people are out backpacking or doing some kind of uh, outdoor adventure. So you could be brainstorming things to do with your, your family. Uh, what kind of adventures do you want to take? You could be planning out your spring and summer vacation. You could be planning um, a wedding or a party or something like that. So let's see, I'm going to put that over here. Scorpio, how you see yourself today? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, that is not your element, but of course you could have air sign in your chart. Um, you see yourself as a Knight of Swords in reverse. Well, you're not rushing in to save the day. You're holding back with words and speech. Uh, the other meaning of this card would be like... Um, Something having to do with like internet trolls or robo texting, robo calling. Here I feel like um, 
as you can see in this card, there's a knight here and there's some sort of fire in the background uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. I feel like you're holding back here regarding something. You're either not uh, communicating here or you're thinking before you speak. There's something here that you are, like I said, you're not rushing in to save the day. There's something here that you are holding back with when it comes to words and speech, possibly even written communication here. Also, you may have a lot of things that you would like to say to someone, but you might be holding back here. What is the theme for you over the week ahead? Uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo uh, energy here. Yeah, so someone here is watching someone um, working. So, of course, you could be overseeing someone here. Maybe you have an apprentice or maybe you have someone working underneath you. Or uh, maybe someone is watching how you do something, Scorpio, watching you work. Um, there's teaching and learning here. There's also mastery. The Eight of Pentacles is about uh, practice. You know, practice makes perfect. So working hard here on something uh, very focused um, on the task at hand. Uh, it depends how it depends uh, who you how you see yourself. Are you the guy here who's doing the work? Or are you the person overseeing the work here? Uh, but most Scorpios I know are in leadership positions. So most Scorpios I know would probably be the person overseeing someone who's doing the work. So in that case, um, someone might be uh, looking to you here to give them some feedback. Or it could be that uh, you're thinking about uh, someone's workmanship. Is it up to par, etc. So maybe overseeing someone who has a task to complete. So in the past, you did learn a lesson regarding the Eight of Swords, Gemini. In the past here, someone saw themselves as a victim or was dealing with issues of victimhood, such as limited belief systems. Um, this could have to do with like someone's self-image here. Um, this could have to do with... Um, you know, not seeing a problem for what it was or what it is, what in the past would be what it was. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this lady sees herself as trapped. She sees herself as stuck. She sees, she's looking in the mirror and she sees the reflection of herself. And do you think she likes what she sees? No. So this is someone here who's dealing with um, some sort of distortion in terms of what they're looking at is being distorted by their mind, in essence. Um, so limited belief systems, feelings of inadequacy, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like um, you're a victim. So you did learn a lesson regarding this energy in your past. It's just coming up again for you this week. Not to forget um, that whatever the situation was, um, it might have taught you it might have taught you a lesson in terms of how to take your personal power back in a situation. How do you uh, get out of a, a, a place of negative thought patterns? Because this can also indicate negative thinking. So your challenge this week, I don't want to dwell on that. I, I just don't want to dwell on that. I mean, it's, it is one of the more negative cards in the tarot deck. But if you learned a lesson regarding it, it's suggesting to me that you... You already um, know what's up with regards to that. So your challenge is the chariot in reverse. Cancer's energy. Well, something stuck here or someone rushed ahead too fast or there's rushing around, stress involved. This could have to do with like long distance travel or like possibly someone here driving. Um, someone could be having car trouble this week. That's not out of the question, but more than anything... This is about how to get moving after you've been stuck in a kind of a position here. So how do you get momentum? How do you get moving? How do you how do you move forward despite how you feel? Um, so also there could be some travel issues here coming up for you this week, especially if you're going anywhere by car. Um, I would just be careful, especially if you're going over land here. I don't know how else you would get anywhere by car. I guess by ferry. Um, challenges with transportation over land. What is the lesson you're learning now, the Empress? Venus? I believe Venus is in Pisces, if I'm not mistaken. 
Excuse me while I take a sip of water here. Honestly, you don't realize how thirsty you are until you, you know, <laughs> sit down and come back from a walk. So the lesson you're learning has to do with the Empress. This could have to do with your mother, mothering, nurturing, how you mother and nurture yourself. This could have to do with um, your wife, your girlfriend, or, or love interest, of course. But Venus uh, is the goddess of beauty and love. So Venusian energy, think of Taurus energy, think of Libra energy. Um, it's about how you create abundance. It's about how you create love and beauty. How do you nurture yourself and others? Um, so there is a lesson for you this week uh, regarding this, uh, regarding Venus. So depending on where Venus is placed in your chart, um, there is a lesson coming up for you this week. Um, I think it's going to be a positive lesson. It could also have to do with your garden, gardening, plants, growth. How are you experiencing? How are you growing and expanding in your life? Where is your life growing and expanding? How are you nurturing that garden, so to speak, uh, metaphorically as well? So your gift is the Ace of Rods in reverse. Fire sign energy, Aries. Ace of Rods in reverse here as the gift you will receive. Well, if something isn't exciting to you, if something doesn't motivate you, if something is tiring, if something is draining you energetically, then you have your answer. It's not something that you're motivated to move towards. If something does excite you, if something does energize you, if something does bring passion into your life, then you know that you're on the right path. So it's simply an indication here that um, if you're not moving towards it, if you're not working on it, and if it's something that uh, is not contributing to your growth, your sustainable growth in this lifetime, then it's not for you. Simple as that. Underneath the deck, once again, we have this Four of Rods, which is about cultivating joy and stability around your home and family, amongst other things. So, of course, that may also tie into this reading. Uh, I always like when my viewers bring their own interpretation to the cards. Of course, you don't need to put it down in the comments. You can if you like, but uh, what I mean is <clears throat> feel free to keep an open mind. And lots of people watch my readings from all walks of life, all different age groups, all different backgrounds. So, you know, um, bring your own interpretation, please, because it will only help you in the long run. Um, let's see, what is the guidance for Scorpio this week? What is the guidance for Scorpio this week? Almost, something almost popped out there. Let's see, what is the guidance for Scorpio this week? And we have um, this one here. It says, my career is bursting with opportunities to express my creativity and passion. So this is a week here for you to, remember, these are affirmation cards. So this is an affirmation for you this week when it comes to your career. My career is bursting with opportunities to express my creativity and passion. So make sure you are seizing those opportunities and make sure you are expressing them. Uh, it looks like this is a great week for you when it comes to your work um, to express what is in your heart, uh, what are you feeling creatively. What are you passionate about? Because I feel like that's only going to contribute to your growth when it comes to your career, right? This is under the work affirmation here. So work is the name of the game this week, and it looks like a good week, Scorpio. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys back.